this is a personal story of a, of a polar opposite couple that are confronted with a pain disability and taking that negative and turning it into a positive. The result is a revolutionary innovation. It all started at the age of 24 when I fell in love. My wife Sue, with her beautiful and strong character, emulated my inner strength to be whatever I wanted to be in my life. I'd just like to introduce my wife Sue. So moving four at the age of 36 and uh, Sue at 28, uh, we have two beautiful daughters, Nicole and Simona, and I'd like to introduce them also. We were traveling and we were financially secure um, from the family business. I was starting my graduate studies. Uh, I was living the dream. Um, not that we didn't have our ongoing issues in our marriage, uh, but overall, the, the family was functional. Then 10 years later, it all fell apart. Sue, at the age of 38, just felt something was just not right. It, first, it was perception issues. She was constantly dropping her dishes and other items. And then uh, her right nose pointed towards, uh, her right eye pointed towards her nose, and uh, a scan showed a cyst. But three surgeries later, it was a, a rare bone tumor. And what makes matters worse is they, the surgeons cut the trigeminal nerve in the maxillary zone. And if you see here, it, it's in the cheek area, the side of the nasal cavity, and under the orbital of the eye. The effects were devastating. Constant terror, an excruciating electric shock pain and disfiguration of the face. Uh, it was terrible. And what makes matters worse is she had severe side effects to the oral pain meds that were given to her that included um, gastrointestinal problems, hypertension or high blood pressure and rash. She just couldn't take the pills. So, at this point, um, it, was, it was a real problem. Has anyone in the audience ever had some form of chronic pain or a family member or friend? Then you know that uh, it just doesn't affect the patient, but it also affects the family members and the caretaker. And did you know that over 55 million people in North America suffer from some form of pain? It cost the healthcare system an astronomical uh, $300 billion per year, and that's an amount of money more than uh, cardiovascular and HIV combined. Our marriage was heading for a, for a breakup. Our children were emotionally affected. Uh, I took on the role of my wife, which was a total car crash. Um, I was at the brink of alcoholism. Uh, one drink turned into many. Um, I felt depressed and totally alone. I think it was the worst time of my life. So during this period, uh, at the age of 46, I was an assistant professor at the university working with Parkinson's patients. I was an anomaly scientist. Uh, before going into academic research, I was, I was working in the family footwear importing business and even had a restaurant. It was like chaotic. I, during the day, I'd be working at the university, and in the evenings, I'd be making pasta noodles in the restaurant. It was, it was crazy. Um, but one thing I knew is I couldn't have done or followed my academic dream if it wasn't for the encouragement of my wife. So as an assistant professor, two patents. I was living the dream again in the mid-40s. But then, boom, Sue got sick. So I knew at this point I had to do something or pass back forward what she had done for me all these years. Uh, I wanted to take that negative and turn it into a positive. So I passionately wanted to find a way to deliver medications without the severe side effects of pills. I started working with a medical doctor with, who was already dabbling in, in topical remedies and a formulation skin chemist. 
And after one year, we came up with this innovative topical delivery system platform that penetrates pharmaceutical agents and natural molecules in a targeted, specific way. Um, and it was, it was just wonderful. We, were, we, were, we had our ongoing struggles with our relationship and work, but I thought I had the solution. So at this point, Sue was uh, bedridden for 13 months, as I explained earlier, and she started with these uh, journal entries uh, on her emotional and physical challenges. Uh, they were heartbreaking. And one specific uh, journal entry that I'll read quoted from her is, I pulled myself off the couch, then crawled on my hands and knees to the kitchen, and then pulled myself up cooked for the family and then crawled back to the couch, just pretended like everything was okay for the family. And this just showed her great humility and her codependence for the family. It, it, it just was mind-boggling, but it wasn't normal. Things were just not normal. So we started to use our first uh, topical formulation on Sue's face and she, she was getting an effect. It was only a 10% effect on the pain and inflammation. But if you know, if you've had chronic pain, 10% 10, 10 is amplified by a thousand. So this was a, an important point because this was her first positive kickstart to her, um, to her recovery. Then we, we were introduced um, by a, a family friend um, uh, that Sue should attend some yoga classes at the University Hospital. And um, so Sue started going and practicing yoga and started to distract the pain. It was unbelievable. So she continues to use this modality even today. And then from here, during the last surgery, she had um, issues of uh, not um, draining her mucus from her sinus area. So once every three to four weeks, she would have to go to the surgeon in Toronto he would have to free the, 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 the nose and then put this long tube, as you can see here on the right hand picture, up this, the, the, the nasal cavity through, the, nose, through the, the, the hole and down into the sinus and aspirate out the, uh, the mucus. It was dreadful. With um, a suggestion of a, of a colleague, we were introduced to a Chinese acupuncturist. And just after one session with this acupuncturist, she put needles all over her body except for her face. Uh, she went to the washroom right after the session and she, and she expelled all this, this mucus. It was unbelievable. And then from there, there was the perception issues that I was saying earlier. She started to ballroom and Latin dance and it, it helped her compensate for these perception challenges. And today she, she um, dances semi-competitively in the Latin area, which was, was, was a wonderful thing. So in all, I thought I had the solution, but really I didn't have the solution. It was just part of the puzzle. All these integrative approaches made Sue better. Not that it, it, she's completely healed. Every day she wakes up, she has these pains. So the revolutionary innovation, we had this great technology, it was wonderful, we had patents, we had trade secrets, but we didn't have no money. We didn't have anything to execute on the plan. So in 2007, we formed a company because we wanted to share this technology with other people with pain. And then later it, it turned out to be more than that. And, um, we started to do uh, perfect the delivery system in our laboratory in Montreal, and the uh, and then we started to work with Health Canada. We were working more with uh, a, a, an elderly population that had pain, like osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. But before I start to talk about the journey, what are the problems with pills? Pills haven't been around as long as you think they have. They've been just since the 1950s. When you take a pill, you have this medicinal active and you have to put it through your mouth and down your esophagus into your stomach where it gets metabolized 
depending the structure of the drug, it may pass into the, the liver as a first pass metabolism, and then just a minute amount of that actual drug actually gets into the bloodstream. Then it starts to circulate from your feet right to your brain. In Sue's case, it, was, it would go into her, uh, into her uh, sinus area. Why not, for, for pain management, take a more direct approach and bypass these, these organs? And that's exactly what we, we attempted to do with our topical delivery system platform. We came up with this topical delivery platform that basically was a cream emollient that integrated or intercalated with the skin, became part of the skin, and it actually formed these laminar-like structures, almost like an onion with multiple layers. And the, and the drug or natural molecules will be entrapped in between these layers. So you get deep penetration of the, uh, of the, the, the drug down into the dermis area, and that's where your nerve endings are, and you want to suppress your pain and inflammation. And that's exactly what we did. We could tweak the delivery system so we could go into the bloodstream. So say we wanted molecules like bioidentical hormones like estrogen or progesterone, you would want that into the bloodstream and then we could also go into the muscle. So it was a great system. Then one day I had an epiphany. I said, why can't we do what medicine used to be before the 1950s and start to use natural molecules? Morphine was developed from the poppy plant Gigitalis was used as a cardiovascular medicine, was, was plant-derived in belladonna, and so on and so on. So we looked at a class of molecules known as bioflavonoids or polyphenols. We have approximately 4,000 of these in, in the plant kingdom. And they're known to be strong anti-inflammatory and pain-type molecules. But the problem, we were looking at specifically at molecules like rutin and quercetin, the problem with these molecules is they were water soluble. You eat them in your diet, in your citrus, like your apples, your oranges, and so on. Your onions, your buckwheat. The problem is when you take them orally, very little of it gets actually into the bloodstream. The, the bioavailability is very low. So what we did, which was disruptive, was encapsulate or cover these water soluble molecules with fatty acids or fats. And as you know, if you put suntan lotion on your skin, it mixes, but if you put water, it bubbles off. So we had to encapsulate that. We ended up testing these, uh, the, the, it formulated in our, in, our, in our delivery system, and we came up with these natural molecules, and, and they were working wonderful. We, 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 like I said, we were working on elderly population. And then I had a lucky break where a sports doctor involved in the NHL, NFL, Major League Baseball, and, and Olympic athletes started using the products and found that it was, that it was they were wonderful, but they were getting a great response. So we hired a natural product expert, and he started to get our products in, in natural product stores across Canada, and then he progressed and got our, our products in, uh, in pharmacy. And then before I knew it, we were in 5,000 locations across the country. We, we didn't expect that. Um, he's still an integral part of the company. And then uh, I had another lucky break where this indirectly, I was asked to bring, to send some cream down to hockey icon Bobby Orr. Um, he had a knee replacement and he was full of arthritis. So I sent it down. Five days later, Bobby Orr calls me and he said, Dr. Joe, I don't know, but I think this stuff works. Nothing else worked. Uh, so he said, send me down 40 tubes, and I'm going to do my own clinical trials on my friends and family. And sure enough, he got a great response, and he's been part of the, our group ever since. Um, so as, as it was saying, our company is a research and development company. We, we do evidence-based medicine. And I was fortunate enough to um, be asked to, to uh, lecture down in, in the East Coast, specifically in Prince Edward Island, by representatives of the federal government, by the National Research Council of Canada. And I got such a warm, um, uh, they were so warm to me towards the technology that it actually 
opened a laboratory in 2012 in Prince Edward Island. Um, we got multiple fundings and we started with one scientist and today we have six scientists and what's interesting is we're not just looking at pain management, we're looking also at diabetes, we're looking at peptides, we're looking at vaccines. Um, really it's limitless. We, we, we um, also made a, a multivitamin that you can take topically. It's, it, it's, it's unbelievable. So um, this is just one of the funding uh, successes that we got with the previous Prime Minister of the country and, we, and we've been very successful in, in that way. But overall, I have my family back. Um, is it perfect? No. Uh, every day um, when Sue wakes up in the morning, she has agonizing pain and uh, she uses these different modalities to um, to just get through the day. That's the new normality. And now she has boundaries. And not only does she have boundaries, the family also has boundaries. So this integrative approach can help millions of people. It just, with pain, it, there is hope out there for these, for these type of people. So in closing, I, the word persistence was really, is a strong word, but persistence has allowed me to keep my family and persistence has allowed me to uh, share this technology with the world. I'd like to thank you very much.